we've all been water people. Love being in the sea. They were going surfing and they used to sort of come out absolutely frozen and be having to change before they could get in the car. I've always done quite a lot of sewing. I went down to this place in Cornwall that sold wax cotton and stuff and I saw all this waterproof stuff and I thought that'd be a good idea. I think she gave me that rope as a gift because I'd come home absolutely freezing from surfs or grumble about how cold it was and getting frozen hands and feet and but the worst bit being changing you know, outside the car. My dad was a graphic designer so I sort of grew up with a knowledge of design. I'd always wanted a, a product for myself. There was a time where I sat down and thought what is that product going to be? Hang on a minute, maybe the idea has been staring me in the face for the past you know, 20, 30 years. So it came together with this realisation that that was a good product idea but needed some work. It started a journey of how do I go about designing that. Anything I was doing, I was trying to do it right. So when I was going through the process of developing the product, I wanted that to be right. So if it was going to be waterproof, it had to be waterproof. If this, if this lining is going to work, it all had to work. I think if you compromise on the product, you'll be discovered. Some of the most fun parts of the journey of dry road really has been seeing some of the areas that it's gone into. I know it's been 10 years, but it feels like it's right at the start of something really, really exciting all the time. I think it's important that however hard you work, you do take time to stand back and enjoy what you're doing. I'm nagging me now to do a bit more surfing and a bit less work. <laughs>